Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video I want to create a hyper-realistic, photorealistic image and I was scrolling through Leonardo here and this image in the center of the screen just popped off the screen and so I thought that this would be a good prompt to use as a starting point. We'll just do a little bit of prompt hacking and see whether or not we can come up with an image that is as stunning as this one. So I have gone ahead and copied the negative prompt and the prompt over into Leonardo. Actually, let me just copy this again because I had done some modifications. We'll modify it here together. So, and the negative prompt appears here. So I'll just hide that for a moment. So some of the wording may seem unusual. There may be seem there may be some repetition of words or themes. And I'm thinking that for some variation, why don't we change it to a handsome young man aged 28. And so we'll go through this prompt, do some prompt hacking, and see what we can come up with for an awesome image. So we're going to say realistic portrait of a handsome man. And as I said, I'm not sure that some of these things that they've included, for example, these brackets, I don't know that they help anything. But I'm going to leave them there because their outcome was so great. So I'm going to put handsome face, sunlight, cinematic light, we don't need bangs, we don't need beautiful woman, we can keep beautiful eyes, black hair, let's change that to just brown hair for some variation, perfect anatomy, very cute, how about very suave, princess eyes, we can just eliminate that, we'll put our eye, chosen eye color here, let's say some topaz eyes frame the head centered image stylized bioluminescence i'm taking it actually no i should leave it life size i'm not sure what this eight is it's going 8k resolution so white low cut dress with smart blue details why don't we change this to a tan suit small with small blue details Human hands, wonderful, elegant, approaching perfection even, dynamic, highly detailed, character sheet, concept art, smooth, facing directly at the viewer position so that their body is symmetrical and balanced. Great. Stunningly beautiful teenage girl. We will change that to an incredibly handsome 29, or what did we say? 28 year old man. Detailed hairstyle. I'm going to put up here as well. 28 year old handsome man. So there we go. So I'll add the negative prompt in and let's just see what settings they had here. So they were running this with Leonardo, RPG4, prompt magic on, high contrast off. Got it. So we'll hit here. RPG4 and prompt magic on high contrast off perfect so I'll run that in Leonardo style and what size of images are we going to end up with here so 640 by 832 that is the preferred proportions for the RPG4 model because that's what it was trained on so we'll hit generate here I also want to run this in deliberate 1.1 because it tends to do a fantastic job on hyperrealism, photorealism, and I'm also going to run it in Leonardo Diffusion for the same reasons. So we should have a set come back here. Not too bad. Handsome looking, suave looking. There's sort of a matte digital art feeling to these. They're all very nice though. Let's see what else we came up with. Nice, very natural pose. The eyes came back as blue. The detail in the clothing is very nice though. And here again, I think I'm looking just for a touch more photorealism. These have definitely more of a comic graphic novel kind of feel to them. So really not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and choose between one of these eight images and bring it into Photoshop to try to make more of a full body portrait. So 
if I were choosing one of these for photorealism, I would say either this guy or this fellow. And just looking at the other elements, I don't really care as much for the suit that he's wearing. Let's go ahead and take this figure, but we're going to do a crisp upscale on him first of all, so that when I bring it into Photoshop, it's a larger, higher resolution image. It still won't be very, very high resolution, but all right, so that's our original. That's our crisp upscaled. It did bring a little touch of realism into things. Made it seem not quite as just matte. So let's open it up here and see what we can do to give this character even more life. So pixel count we have here is 1344 by 1744. All right. I'm going to think about this for a moment. Why don't we make it then 1800 pixels wide and we'll make him 2500 pixels tall and that should give us a little bit more canvas space and help us bring this gentleman to life. If that doesn't do it, we can always go for a larger selection. So I'm going to be doing the generative fill AI to complete this image. So I just made my selection of what we'll call our reference area and now I'm going to invert the selection so it's this area that's chosen to be filled and generative fill bar, generate button, and just like magic, it's going to come back with a full background for us. Look at the fine detail in the pores, fine lines on the beard, just incredible. Texture on the lips, very, very nice. I think it's just sort of the lighting that I don't care for. So you see here that it did sort of um, a classic where it added a seam here we'll call it. That it did not so much, but it is somewhat present here still. You can see where the where the selection was made. Number three it just looks kind of sloppy. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to generate again, but I'm just going to back out of these selections. And I have to now consider where it is that I'm going to make my selection area. Now the reason that it sometimes is inclined to create that line artifact is if there is a lot of shadowing here on the bottom corners, which there is some, it isn't extreme. I'm going to though just bring the cut up higher. I'm going to actually try to be a little bit smart about it and cut it but I still want to include the base of the tie. Perfect. So bring it down even just a little bit farther. I want to include the base of the tie so that the AI has less to think about. And I'm going to bring it in from the sides a little bit more. Great. So now we're going to use that as our selection area. I will invert that selection and let's generate. Let's try that again, Aaron. There we go. Generate to fill, generate. And I still think that the canvas may not be large enough to give him some life. So we'll see what this does. It would be nice to be able to sort of expand based on something more like this. One, two, or three. I think number one I would take. It's a little bit poorly fitting, actually. You know what? It's still not good enough. How about if we go ahead and generate one more time? And we'll see if we can get some variations that look more suited to a handsome young man age 28. I'm still very much impressed with this. So we have more variations now. Let's check them out. Two, that's not bad. Three, four, five, six. The second one isn't bad. Unfortunately, I'm still getting that seam happening here. I'm determined. So let's back out of everything and let us make another crop selection here. So not going to be defeated. Let's zoom in a bit 
and see where we can make this selection. I'll take it, I guess, quite cropped in. So I'll take it sort of from here and just like so. I'll include his ear here in the selection and it is what it is. Maybe this will end up being a fantastic outcome. So we'll generate fill on this area and yeah, let's check it out. Even the details on that tie and on this fabric are extremely photorealistic. The variation in the texture of the fabric even from here to here, just incredible. So maybe we have something a little bit more successful here. Let's zoom in and see if we have any seaming going on. One, two, three. So it seems like we have taken care of that issue. Now we can choose between one of these three. One, two, or three. I'm going, gee, I wish that number two it was more photorealistic itself here. It looks so, sort of um, mottled, marbled. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just finish off the top of his head. So I'll hit C, bring up the crop tool, go in here and just expand it so that I can then hit M, bring back my select tool, and let's bring it down to about here. You know, I find that a lot of AI and the creativity comes with rolling with the punches. I'm much more inclined to keep generating than I am to keep going and adding words onto prompts, I find that I can really put myself into a box that way and not necessarily get a great outcome. So for something like this, where I was making multiple choices as far as where to crop, where to select and things like that, that doesn't concern me a whole lot. Sometimes it goes smoother, sometimes it isn't quite as smooth. Here we can choose between one of these three hairstyles. So number one, number two, or number three. I feel like number two makes the most sense. So let's see what we ended up here with for a hyper-realistic portrait. In the end, not too bad. I think he is a handsome looking man, age 28. He, we ended up with some incredible detail throughout the image and I do feel like it would qualify as being photorealistic. So I think that we have accomplished our mission here. If you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more of them and I will see you the next time.